Good morning, Junior Three. How are you today? Today we have a new session. Uh, we will make a quick revision of lesson number seven. Okay, now open the booklet on lesson seven. Okay, Junior Three, all of you with me. Okay, lesson seven is talked about the force and motion. Force and motion. First, let's know what the meaning of force. When I push something, Junior Three, or I pull, these are called force. That's meaning power. Okay, when I do push or pull, that's meaning force. What is the meaning of push or pull? Push, uh, push means when I hold something and I move this something for far away from me. I move this something or this object far away from me. This that's mean I making push. I making push. So when I move something and this something move far away from me, go far away from me, so it's calling push. But if I hold something and I move this something towards me, that's go to me, that's calling pull. Push and pull or push or pull, they are called force. They are called force. Kijun, you see, when I do the force or when I do the push or pull, that causes motion. What is the meaning of motion? It's meaning the movement. So it's push or pull that causes motion. Force means push or pull that causes motion. Okay, Junior three. Okay, let's know, uh, let's take the examples of meaning pushing. This farmer doing what? He moved the car. So this car go far away from the farmer or go to the farmer? Yes, far away from the farmer. So he pushing the wheel part. He pushing the wheel part. Okay. And this boy, when this boy kick the ball, he kick it with his foot. So the ball is go far away. When the ball is go far away, so he pushing the ball. So the boy here is pushing the ball to his friend. You understand? Okay. The bullying, this horse doing what? He, yes, he pulling the car. He makes the car move towards the horse. So he pulling the car. Number two, this boy or this child is pulling the toy car. He makes a toy car moving towards him. So he pulling the car. So you see, you can different between push or pull. Yes, pushing when the something move far away. Pulling when the something move to us or towards. Okay, now we will description or we will describe the meaning of the force. Number one here, I have marker, so I will push the marker. Push the marble with your hand. When I stand hand and I will pushing the marble, the marble will still stand or will be moving? Yes, the marble will move. So the marble starts moving. The marble starts moving. So when you push the marble, the marble starts moving. Number two, if I hold, the marble, if I make your finger to stop the, the ball, this ball is still move or it will stop. Yes, the marble stops the motion. When I hold the marble or I touch the marble with my hand, the marble stops its motion. Number three, 
if I go to the another side or the opposite side and I will move the marble or I pushing the marble from the opposite side direction, what will happen? Yes, if you move it from the left, it's go to the left side. If you move it from the right, you will move in the right direction. So the marble change also direction and move in the opposite direction. So I can say the force that mean pushing or pull can be used to, can be used to start moving or stop moving or moving in another direction. You understand junior three? So by the force, I can use it to move the marble or pushing start moving or stop the marble and also i can use it to change the direction you understand so i can say pushing and pulling or push on pull the r force the r force that causes motion the r force that causes motion all of you understand this lesson it's very easy yes okay now Open the weekend cheat booklet to solve the weekend cheat number seven. Okay, all of you open the wiki sheet seven, page 17. Okay. Let's start. Now we will match. Now we have birds and some foods. You remember that this lesson, type of pigs, yes. Now we have pelican, you know, uh, spoon bill bird and pelican. Yes, they have spoon beak and they eat what? Yes, super, small fish, small plant in water, super. So pelican and spoon bill bird eat small fish, small plant in water. Okay, number two, eagle. You know the eagle? Yes, eagle and owl have what? Eagle and owl has feather, yes. Feather beaks and they eat what? Meat of animals, super match, meat of animals. Number three, you know the kingfisher? Yes, king heron, yes, heron, egret, kingfisher, they have twether beak and they eat what? Yes, they eat fish and insects. Fish and insects. The last bird we have, wren, wren and goldfinch. You remember wren and goldfinch? They have, what type of beak? Yes, they have clasping peak. Yes, super. And they are eat seeds. Okay, junior one, uh, junior three, sorry. All of you understand? Okay, now turn the page. Open page 18. Junior three, now we will put or complete pulling or pushing. 
Look at the picture and put pull or push. Here. The farmer is what? The wheel paro. Look at the farmer and this wheel paro. When he moves the wheel paro, this wheel paro go far away from the farmer or towards the farmer? Yes, far away. So it's push or pull? Yes, super pushing. So right pushing. So the farmer pushing the wheel pump. Number two, the horse is what to the cart? Look at the cart, the horse move it. To where is the horse or far away from the horse? To where is the horse? So that means he bullying. Right bullying. Number three, the boy is what to the ball to his friend. This boy here doing what? Yes, he kicks the ball to his friend. When he kicking the ball, this ball go far away or to where is the boy? Yes, far away. So he push or pull? Yes, pushing, right, pushing. The last picture, this child is what to the toy car? Look at the, this boy, he have a rope and he, yes, he bullying the car, why? Because the car, bullying or pushing junior three? Yes, bullying, because the car moves towards the boy. The car moves towards the boy, go to the boy. So he pushing or bullying? Yes, bullying. Okay, can you see all of you with me? Okay, now turn the page. Page 19. We will label the following. What is this, Junior C? Yes, polar pair. And what is this? Yes, super rapid. You remember we talked the polar bear in what? Super in the camouflage. Yes, polar bear has white fur. Yes, they use it to blending in the snow to easy to catch. Yes, it's animal, super. And rabbit. Yes, rabbit also has Inherited traits, you remember inherited traits? Rabbit has large ear to hear and avoid any dangers. And what is this? Yes, turtle. We talk turtle in what? Yes, also in the inherited traits. We said the turtle has shell here, shell to protect it from animals, super. And what are this? Yes, super, water lily.
Aulutz. Okay. You remember the water lily? Yes. And what is this? Cactus. Super. Cactus has what? Soreness, yes. To stop animal from eating it. And what is this? Yes, super zebra. You remember the zebra? In, have, in her trade that have straps on his body to make the bugs confused and avoid being it. Okay, super. What is this? You remember this animal? Yes, hedgehog. The hedgehog has what? Yes, has a spines here. Spines on his body to stop animal also from eating it. Yes, and this plant, what is this? Yes, super, acacia tree. And this animal, Giraffe. Giraffe has what? Long neck to help it to reach the, to the tree leaves. Uh, long tree, sorry. Okay. Have you finished? Okay. Here we have the last picture. What is this? Yes, super. The stick insect. The stick insect have what? Sticky shape, like this, this stick. Yes, to avoid or to blend with his, from his enemies. Okay, Junior C, have you finished? Okay, super. Turn the page. Yes, now we will revision on the medical tools, you remember? Okay. Which tool is used to measure the body temperature? Which tool is used to measure the body temperature? Yes, super, thermometer. So write thermometer here. So number one, thermometer. Number two is used to look at bones inside the body. We use what to look at bones inside your body. Yes, super. X-ray image. Number three is used to listen to the heart and lungs. Doctor, use it to listen heart and lungs. What is this? Yes, super stethoscope. Stethoscope. Number four, we use it to make bells. Yes, medical saw. Medical saws used to make pills and also for surgery. Number five, 
used to give shots. Used to give sh shots. What is this? Super Junior 3, syringe and ampoule. Number six, use it to look into your ears. We use what to look into your ears. Yes, super, otoscope. Number seven, use it to how hard your heart is bumping. Listen how hard. Is hard, you're bumping. Yes, blood pressure cuff. Knots and knots are from the old medical tools. Yes, we have here, yes. Hooks and medical forceps, yes. Okay, Junior 3, anything difficult? Okay. So we have finished, so we see you soon, bye.